Hey everybody, um, it's Matt King. Uh, you know, um, I'm pretty bored right now. I'm on spring break from uh, college. And you know, I guess I thought I'd make a video about ISTPs. Um, I've taken a Myers-Briggs personality test. I took it about, how many years ago would that be? Uh, well, I'm a freshman in college right now, so... I took it my sophomore year of high school, and um, well, initially when I first took it, I first got tested as a uh, INTP. But I um, well, the description of INTP did actually match me. I thought it was me all the way, but I noticed uh, that in like in the INTP descriptions. Uh, they didn't really describe INTP as being much of an athlete. They like to they describe them boys the type to sit around all day and think of ideas and stuff like that. And I uh, realized I'm not really the type of person. I'm really athletic person. I like sports and stuff like that. You know, work out a lot. Care about my body and stuff like that. So um, as I began to look more into it, I started to think maybe. I like, um, I started to think maybe uh. I'm a version of an INTP that, uh, you know, likes sports or something like that. So then I looked more and more into it, and then I uh, looked at the ISTP, and it really sounded like me. Like, it was, like, 100% accurate. So uh, I, that's when I figured I was an ISTP, not an INTP. And uh, that is pretty common for, like, um... It is actually very common for ISCPs to be uh, to take those online free tests and be mistyped as INTPs. That's only because even though ISTPs, even though you're an ISTP, you still use intuition a lot and stuff like that. ISTPs do commonly use a lot of intuition. They well, they don't use a lot of it, but ISTP can use intuition at will. Basically, the life of an ISTP like. When ISCP is young, they can use it. They use intuition a lot when they're real young, but as they get older, they start to use more extroverted sense and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's how I found out I was ISCP. And uh, you know, for the most part, I like being an ISTP. It's uh, you know, I like my strengths. You know, I don't. I like my weaknesses too. I don't dwell on my weaknesses. As an ISTP, but you know, people, everybody's different. Just because I'm an ISTP and somebody else will be an ISTP, like I meet somebody else as an ISTP, doesn't mean uh, we're the same person. You know, life experiences um, does play a big part into you know what type of person you become, stuff like that. But for the most part, these tests are pretty accurate. And you know, I thought I'd make a video. To uh, about ISCP since you don't really see that many videos on ISCP, but you and you know a lot of videos you do see that actually people that aren't actually I like in my opinion I see a lot of people on YouTube make videos saying that they're ISTPs, but they they a lot of them don't really come off as ISTPs in my opinion they like they seem like they might be I confused INTJs or something like that. Some a lot of them because INCJs do get mixed up with ISCPs a lot. I don't know why. To me, they don't look anything alike, but they do. So, anyways, you know, thanks for the time and uh, stay tuned into my next video. I'm going to talk about um, ICP fictional ISCP ISCPs and also ICP celebrities. So, uh, thanks for your time.